everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage, and welcome back to another Potion Permit video for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, I want to talk about Potion Permit Update 1.3, which is the newest update available for the Switch. But as you saw in the thumbnail, this is not the only update that's been made available for Switch. There have been ones before, and I want to talk about them also. So please sit back, relax, click like, subscribe, and hopefully enjoy. Here we go. So if you haven't heard of Potion Permit, this game is a life simulator where the player takes control of a chemist or an alchemist in a small town. That town is called Moonbury. The people that live in that town seem to be set in their ways when it comes to health and healing and do not like the player or that they come from the capital. That is a very small synopsis of the game. You'll find yourself healing characters, going out foraging for items, accepting certain quests within the village. And from what I have played, as you go go through the game you will also see that the town gets fixed bit by bit. And I have been playing that again recently and I have to say I am still very much enjoying it. What I didn't know is that the game had been updated several times since I first played it. Now, I first played the game when it launched originally last year in 2022. At the end of last year the developers let us know that they had a roadmap planned for Potion Permit and this included the following items which they wanted to add to the game. New romanceable characters, additional languages, new mechanics, systems to improve quality of life, new quests and minigames, and a new opening cinematic. So out of these points, which ones did we get? Like you have seen in the thumbnail, there have been six updates. So I want to go through what has indeed been updated for Potion Permit on Nintendo Switch. Future Quest Mage here, I wanted to interrupt the video a little bit just to let you know that the version on the Nintendo Switch actually shows as version 1.011 in the Switch's UI menu, but at some point I did actually see in the main menu it showed version 1.3 but that is no longer there. So uh, version 1.3 I'm assuming equals version 1.011 on the Nintendo Switch. Version 1.1 were just a set of bug fixes, 1.11 were a set of bug fixes but also adding new content. That was a revamped fishing bar user interface, added a quantity limit warning in the shop and added a text warning when deleting a save. Surprisingly there was no prompt when you were trying to delete a save before so I'm very happy to see that has been added since. Version 1.12 added a Japanese language which is great and more bug fixes. Version 1.13 fixed some animations for some characters, added a serum unlock notification and more bug fixes. Next we had version 1.2 so in this version we got a brand new object which I actually saw when I started playing the game again. I had to stop and think that wasn't there before surely and indeed it wasn't and that got added in this update and that is the grow box which allows you to grow your own materials as opposed to going out and foraging for them. Also added a ranger post tutorial and event and some more bug fixes. And this brings us to the latest 1.3 update which is quite substantial in terms of sheer items that, that they have fixed I have counted over 50. That's right five zero fixes that they have added to the game and on top of that they have also updated the game with new things so let's take a look at what they've added first. So as you can see here on screen the first thing that they added was new romanceable characters that's Helene and Victor. Next new arcade minigames now this was a very good surprise for me. Again not knowing that this game had been updated since what a good surprise to go down to the arcade and see that there is a new arcade game. Now I have to point out that this is actually plural here in these patch notes it says new arcade mini games but I only found one. Let me know down in the comments if you have found any more because this might just be locked to later in the game. Next would be new side quests and events that's always a good thing to add to bring more longevity to any game. Updated patients body parts terminology for better UX purposes I have no idea what that means but I'm assuming that is all necessary and helps the overall gameplay. Last in the updates it's rework delete files user interface to prevent player accidentally deleting save file. 
Now this I'm assuming is the new pop-up that you get when you try to delete your save file. If it is, great, probably should have been there from the beginning, but here it is now. So well done, thank you very much for that. When it comes to the bug fixes, there are loads. So as I mentioned before, there are 50 plus bug fixes, which I will show on screen. Please feel free to pause them at any time and go through them, as there are way too many to go through in this one video. I will mention though, right at the end, there is a Nintendo only bullet point which says, fixed FS right access issues affecting save. I don't know what that means, but anything to help our saves is a good thing and welcome to be here in this list. So that is it. Those are all the updates made available for Potion Permit on the Nintendo Switch. I hope you enjoy this video. I just wanted to collate everything in one place as I was trying to look for all this information. Like I said, I didn't know any of this was available. Hopefully this all being available in one video helps all of you out there. If it does, please do click that like button down below as that lets me know you like this type of content and I can continue making this sort of videos. So to end the video, Potion Permit, I am still pretty happy with this game. I like it. There are certain little things that I hope they do fix in the future. There's a slight stutter as you're running around in the town that I think does need to be fixed, but I might do a follow-up video of things that I like or dislike in the game. Again, if you hit that like button down below, that lets me know that you want to see more content about this game. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much again for watching. If you like what I do here, please click that like button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button as that is the only way this channel can grow. Now, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.